Chefing for a blessing. Chefing for a blessing. Chefing for a blessing. Yeah, yeah. Chefing for a blessing. Chefing for a blessing. Chefing for a blessing. Yeah, yeah. Chefing for a blessing, yeah. It's Pastor Chef here. Kitchen, the heart of the home. It's a haven, a culinary doom. The heartbeat where flavors meet, the fragrance fills the air. There's beautiful essence everywhere. Aroma gonna bless your heart. Let's join Pastor Chef in this kitchen art. Chefing for a blessing, blessings abound. Chefing for a blessing, chefing for a blessing, chefing for a blessing, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So So good. Welcome to another episode of Pastor Chef. Today we're going to be cooking steak and shrimp quesadillas. Let's get started. Steak bite-sized pieces. Red peppers, onions, some seasonings, garlic powder, onion powder, saison, Paprika, shrimp deveined. The shrimp has been cleaned and pet dry with scotch salt. Got our pan on low heat, add in the oil, give that some time to spread around, fill the pan. Then we're going to add the meat, the steak. Simply season salt, pepper. Cook that well. Make sure it's brown, no more red. Right, it's done, so it's put to the side in a container. While we keep it going, add a little bit more oil, olive oil to the pan. Put the shrimp right in there, that's right. Shrimp lightly seasoned with pepper and a Cajun type of salt, like slap your mama, that one. It doesn't have to get done completely because it'll keep on cooking when we add it to the dish later on. we added some paprika to that and a little bit of saison. That's a nice flavor. All right, as you can tell, it's getting done. Beautiful color, finished. Put that to the side. Get 
and every morsel you can. There you go. All right, time to add butter. Let that melt. We are now adding the onions. Let them get translucent. Adding the red pepper. Stirring that constantly. Isn't that beautiful? Once that's done, you can now add the steak and add the shrimp. Give it a good stir. Stir it well. Incorporate everything. Always tasting along the way. So here we added a red pepper tomato paste. Now you have to make sure that the taste is to your liking, so don't forget, taste along the way. Now we're adding the other seasonings, the garlic powder, the onion powder, the paprika, the saison. All that we prepared, we add, oh, all that we prepared, we now add to the pan. And stir, folks. Now that's done. Let's now move to the salt. All right, in a bowl. Sour cream, mayonnaise, Philadelphia cream cheese, paprika, onion powder. Now look at this, relish. Let's go relish, cooperate. That's sweet relish. Now mix it all in, folks. Just keep on mixing, keep on mixing. Eventually you get a homogenous mixture there. All right, it's time to get the quesadilla going here. I have a corn tortilla. Had these for a while, I figured, well, why not use them? They're tiny, but they work. That's good. Clean pan, oil, let that get hot enough. Put down the corn quesadilla. Add the sauce, then you add the mixture. You're putting some cheese on top. Letting that fry, get nice and fried. Don't worry about if stuff spills out. That's just gonna make a gooey, wonderful,
delicious mess. <laughs> oh boy. Second one, always a battle to me. By that time, you know exactly how these are gonna flow or even fold. The first one was kind of light skin, second one a little bit browner. Brown girl in the ring. <laughs> And there you are. I mean, that's delicious, folks. I'm telling you, they were delicious. Your steak and shrimp quesadilla. Wow, lessons abound. 